All right, so could there be a cure for blindness just around the corner? You know, I'll, I'll tell you, until I started reading up on this interview yesterday, I really thought blindness was all about, like, an, an actual problem in the eye. Like, right. an, an actual, you know... Me um, too. As far as, like, an injury or, or something mm-hmm. to the actual organ. Um, but it turns out a, a lot of it comes down to genes. And uh, Dr. Albert Pang, he's an optometrist. He joins us on the phone now. So tell us how genetic work could really improve blindness and and how it's caused on the genetic end because look today i learned uh, it's a genetic thing i never realized that well again um there's uh, quite a few of um eye condition or, or blindness especially childhood blindness is actually because of some genetic defects um one of the uh, topic that they're talking about now is what we call the liver congenital um, uh, degeneration. What happened is that the child born with um, normal eyes, but that be, with time, usually at the very first few months of the age, mm-hmm. um, the um, the cells that are supposed to transfer the light, in the, the uh, signal of the light into the brain is not able to convert. So in other words, the, they are lacking some uh, photoreceptor. And because of that, you know, early on in their life, they totally lost their eyesight. And then what the scientist now is doing is what we call editing the DNA. So we were able to stop the the dying of those photoreceptors. And in other words, they were able to preserve the the, uh, the eyesight of the uh, sufferer. Wow. So this is an experimental treatment here at this point. Two different companies are testing this in up to 18 people in the United States. Um, the eye and ear in Boston is a, is a clinic that is doing it as well. And the gene editing for people after birth, I want to be clear, it's different than the controversial, controversial work, you know, altering DNA of to, you know, you know, pass all the traits onto future generations. This is a one-time procedure that alters the DNA of the person to fix this problem. Yes, um, I think the the biggest difference is that you know the um, the um, controversial um, the um, technique that they use in China is that they are trying to alter the genetic structure in the embryo, whereas this one here is like using a virus and uh, as a carrier, and then they inject into the um, into the eye as a treatment, not as a gene altering. Um, the technique like the Chinese does. So uh, this is similar to using a drug, but instead, you know, using the virus to carry the gene altering um, the uh, agent into yeah. the um, into the uh, uh, eye. Mm-hmm. So when you hear of someone who has something, by the way, uh, we're joined joined by Dr. Albert Peng. He's an optometrist. When you hear of someone having a certain disease, um, and I can't even name one off the top of my head, but where it causes blindness, is that's what is happening? It's just something that's um, messing with the receptors between the eye and the brain? Um, no, there's a different type of uh, genetic condition. Some okay. of them is because inside the eye, there's some pigmentation called the pigment epithelium. Um, you probably heard of a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. Mm-hmm. Um, that is, uh, in short, is called RP. And those are the ones that uh, is a genetic condition, but because of the pigment inside the eye is uh, gradually deteriorating. It's kind of like the film in the old day. The film is uh, becoming dysfunctional, so no picture is registered. And this one here, the uh, uh, liver congenital uh, degeneration, is the photoreceptor, is the light sensitive photoreceptor that's degenerating. So um, different parts of the eye is being degenerated. Um, so um, not all the genetic conditions are caused from the same causes. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. that makes sense. Yeah, wow, certainly. Dr. Albert Ping, uh, thanks so much. Hopefully, gosh, if if this it, is amazing. I mean, I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it sound like it's super easy. But if we right. have an answer for how we can do this, I mean, at least it's the next step forward, and uh, then we can work on this. Thanks so much for your time, sir. Okay, thank you.